it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Here I am at the gym at 11 o'clock at night. Probably be home about midnight. Just, you know, doing what it takes. Out of focus, taking up my energy. Yeah. How could I not notice that you became an enemy? Up so high, coming down with the gravity. You're pulling me down, down, down. I just wanna keep up, keep up. You're moving so fast without me. Supersonic. Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy Jordan, your online physique building coach, back at it again with another video. So today's video I really didn't plan on making. As many of you guys know, at 12 years old, I was severely picked on, I was made fun of, I was told, like, go kill yourself, and this, these are, these are things that happen to a lot of kids around the age of 12, 13, that don't really fit into the crowd, that are kids that kind of stick out. They're a little different, maybe they're socially awkward, Maybe they're not into the same stuff as all the other kids. Maybe they're not into sports like football and basketball and baseball and softball. Maybe they're not into wrestling. Maybe they're not into like doing drugs and going to parties like most kids are experimenting around with that kind of stuff. Maybe they're into other things that is outside of the group of all the kids that are at the school. They're a little bit different. I was one of those kids. I was a little bit socially awkward. At 12 years old, I was really into astronomy. I was really into science and I was really into the human body. I was also really into film and modeling. I was just a weird kid. I was into a lot of different things and none of these things any of the other kids in school were interested in. So I really didn't have that many friends. Like I could kind of cut up and joke with anybody, but I didn't really fit in with any crowd because I didn't have anything to talk about with anybody. So there's there was no good conversations. I was literally a little white kid that carried around a poetry book by Tupac Shakur. Yes, I was also into poetry. Anyways, I got made fun of a lot. When I was 13 years old, I actually got jumped 
and tore my ACL, my right knee was messed up. It was just a whole bunch of crap. That like there was this thing in middle school at the time where when you like mess with somebody, you jump somebody, like you would try to hold them down and like pretend rape and like say really gay things and that was just something that people did in middle school. Basically the goal was to humiliate me in front of everybody just because that's what people like to do in middle school when I was in middle school was humiliate the kids that are different in front of all the kids that are not different. The problem was usually legs don't break when that happens. Usually you just get shoved down and like messed with and you know left there to feel like an idiot and, and feel like a, a piece of shit but like I literally felt like a piece of shit with my right leg completely messed up and I couldn't walk. I out to the field outside, had my mom come pick me up. Turns out my leg was all kinds of fucked up. Like, it was all kinds of fucked up. Like, it was bad. It was really bad. Literally at that point in my life, I got so depressed. I was sitting in my room, I couldn't do anything. I was bedridden, I was taken out of school because I was like, I just didn't want to go to school anymore. I was so depressed, I was literally like, if I have to go back to school, I'm going to just kill myself. I'm just, I don't, I, I can't fathom going back and facing everyone. I just don't want to do it. I was literally at that point, at 13 years old in middle school in eighth grade. So I sat in my room, drank Mountain Dew, ate Hot Cheetos, and played Halo 3 and like forged a bunch of stuff on Forge mode all the time and played Xbox Live. I got really freaking good at Halo, but I became very antisocial and didn't talk at all and like literally I became a hermit and slowly and steadily wanted to die and became more and more okay with the thought of committing suicide by gun or by knife, which would be terrible, or just by like some other means. Anyways, fast forward a couple of months, I had to get surgery on my right knee and fix everything up, and that was my moment. Do I want to commit suicide? Do I want to die right now? Or is, is, is there something for me to do in life? Is there something that I can do in life? And I don't know what it was that told me. It may have been God, it may have been the universe, it may have been my subconscious mind, it may have been all of that, but something said to me, Jordan, no, don't kill yourself. There's something more for you. There's something that you can do. There's something that you can do to help other people that are in similar situations, other people that are going through mental disorders, other people that are getting picked on, just other people that are going through things. And at that moment, I was like, okay, okay. And I asked my dad, and he works out like about every day, and he worked out every day back then as well. I was just like, can you take me to the gym? Just, just like one day, and he was like, yeah. So I went with my dad to the gym, 13 years old, did some bicep curls, kind of like, well, this is interesting. I, I, I didn't totally hate it, so let me go back like again in a couple of days. So I went back again, cool, all right, went to the gym twice. Ended up going to the gym like three times that week, and I was like, this is not too bad. I like the way that it feels when I lift weights and I get pumped up and I look a little bigger, and I'm, I'm looking a little leaner, like I was starting to see some abdominal definition for the first time in my entire life. So I was like, I kind of like this, cool. So I really got into it. I started working out three days a week, four days a week, five days a week. And from 13 to 15, by the time I was 15, I was like, this is pretty freaking cool. Like, maybe I should do like a competition or a bodybuilding show or something. There's actually a guy at the gym who did contest prep and had done some contests himself and was literally on the brink of getting a pro card in natural bodybuilding. So he actually helped me prep for my first bodybuilding show at 15 years old. He competed in the same show. He actually won his pro card in that show. I think I placed like second or third in the team division, but I was literally beaten by a 19 year old and like an 18 year old that had been lifting a lot more than me. I'd been lifting for like two years. These guys had been lifting for like six, seven years and they were like 19, about to turn 20. That's, that's almost not even fair, but not the point, not the point. So I really got into it, really got into it. After that, I really started dieting and training a lot harder. I learned a little bit more about dieting, started meal prepping, all that fun stuff. I did another bodybuilding show when I was 16 years old. And at that point, I was staying lean like all the time. And I wasn't socially awkward anymore. I had friends. I was cool. I could talk to girls. I could get dates. I could go out on dates. My life was completely different. I was just like night and day difference from my little awkward, 13 year old nerdy self. I was, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Thing is, once I got to high school, even though I was like not this weird, awkward kid, like everybody and their friends like nicknamed me steroid because I was more aesthetically developed than just about anybody in school because I was the only natural bodybuilder in high school. Like no one does natural bodybuilding in high school. 
and if they do, they're probably weird to everybody else. I think, guys, back in high school, like, everyone was doing drugs. Everyone was going to parties. Everyone was, like, just experimenting around doing whatever high school kids do, and they didn't really understand being dedicated to contest prep and bodybuilding shows at 15, 16 years old. That wasn't really something that people did in high school. So getting into that second show, I was like, this is pretty cool. I'm starting to figure this out. Maybe I can help some other people. Maybe I can start writing like 30 and $50 workout and diet plans. And so about 16 and a half, I would say years old is when I actually started helping other people and charging for it. And it started to become a little bit of a business. And I was like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Maybe I could, do something with this. Maybe I could maybe I could start something out of this. And so at 17 years old I ended up doing my third bodybuilding show and at that point I was really really into it. I was like maybe I should maybe I should make a couple of videos on this. So I ended up I think 17 or 18 years old. I started making videos and at around 18 years old I think I hired 3DMJ Jeff Alberts to help me out and prep for a show. I prepped for like 30 something weeks for this show. It's gonna be my fourth show and at that time I was also pursuing acting and I wanted to like be in movies and that stuff and it's still something that I'm open to and interested in. I just can't do everything all at once right now. I've got too much on my plate to start to still pursue acting at the moment. But anyways, I had done so many auditions and I was supposedly booked for this small indie film that was like literally in a different country. And so they booked me right near the end of my contest prep. And I was like, well, I just died for 30 weeks for this show, and now I'm gonna have to go overseas to be in a movie, and like, that's cool, I'll sacrifice that. And then all of a sudden, they were like, actually, this movie's not gonna happen, we couldn't get our budget. They needed like $90,000 or so, and they, they, couldn't, they couldn't fund it, and so I was cast, but it fell through, and that's, that's freaking awesome, because now I didn't do a bodybuilding show, didn't do the movie. Uh, I worked with Jeff Alberts for like 30 weeks and paid a good bit every month to get in ridiculous shape but I learned so much about myself on that prep I got shredded ridiculously shredded on that contest prep I got down to 148 pounds which I don't know I, I really highly doubt I'll ever get that body weight again doubt it I probably won't get under 150 like ever again but I was absolutely shredded and I learned so much at that point I was making YouTube videos I was really training hard. I think that was the time that I first hit 315 on bench for one single rep. Obviously, I got back up in weight. I didn't hit it at 148. I bulked back up to like 178 and hit 315 for a single first time like 18 years old. And everything just kind of grew from there. I got really into film. I stayed in acting. I, I kept recording myself, kept making YouTube videos. Just everything kind of moved from there. It's like all these things tied in, the acting, the bodybuilding, the shows, the helping other people, and then it's kind of led me to where I am today, where I'm now an online coach and I coach other people, getting them into shape, whether it's for a bodybuilding show, physique show, or just a 90 day transformation, or literally just someone that wants to get lean and stay lean and has a set goal, or someone that just wants to build muscle. So guys, I've literally been doing this coaching before it was called coaching. Back when I started, when I was 16 years old, it wasn't called coaching, it was just called writing plans and writing diet and training plans and progression plans and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I've been training for a little over 11 years. I've actually been helping other people with diet and training and coaching and all that stuff since I was 16 years old. I'm now 23 years old. So I'd, I'd say that I've been doing this for a while and I've helped a lot of people, diverse groups of people. Like I've helped anyone from 58 years old, just trying to get back into it to someone who's like 16 years old, picking up their first dumbbell, building their first little bit of muscle, to someone who's like super serious, wanting to get into a bodybuilding show. I've worked with just about everyone. So that's kind of my story. I went from near dead, suicidal, to fitness vlogger, slash natural bodybuilder, slash writer. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I wrote eight books. Um, one of which is my flagship book, Hashtag Gains, the modern day dieting encyclopedia, which goes into like every diet known to mankind like ever, why they worked, why they didn't work, goes into some of the really stupid diets that can kill you, and the most popular diets and some of the best diet structures that I personally use with my clients, why I like them, why they work, who they work for lifestyle wise, psychology wise, body chemistry wise, and why everyone needs a very specific diet for them. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my sort of 
12 to 23 bodybuilding story. Obviously I was this weird nerdy kid at 12 years old that was into like sci-fi and astronomy and science and the human body and all that stuff. And I'm still very much into all that stuff. I'm just not socially awkward. I know how to talk people. I understand people a lot better. I'm not depressed and wanting to die, although life still is hard sometimes. Uh, I don't let it completely eat me up inside and destroy me. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment if you have any questions or concerns. Share the video if you think this can help anybody out whatsoever. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time. All love. Guys, if this resonated with you and you want to talk to me, click the link in the description. You can book a one-on-one, 15-minute -on -one, free strategy call with your boy, Jordan, right now. I will personally sit down and spend 15 minutes on the phone with you to figure out what your plan of action should be right now to move forward with your goals. And if you're ready to get moving forward now, we're going to go ahead and find out if you are the right fit for our coaching program and we will go from there. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, comment if you have any questions or concerns, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. All love.